It's so good to see you, my beloved congregant. Welcome to our 15th edition of Between Two Torahs. We're very honored to have this afternoon a very special guest. And that is actually someone who's not only a retired rabbi and a good friend of mine, Rabbi Marvin Schwab, but he's also one of our teachers of adult education. And I believe, Rabbi Marv, that you're going to be teaching a class on the book of Esther. Tell us more about this. Well, there's a limit to what I can say because this is a G-rated interview, and the Book of Esther is anything but G-rated. It's rather X-rated. Imagine, I mean, most people don't realize why Purim became a children's holiday. And if you think about it, the issues in the book are so deep and so troubling that all we could do was trivialize it by making it a children's holiday and then get so drunk that we're not thinking about it. That was the original mitzvah. But actually, Purim was the first Jewish gift-giving holiday when we sent meals to those who were in need, right? Although the Talmud does refer to Halloween, does it not? Um, Probably not. I, not I don't so think much. so. No, not, not so, so much. much. I, mean, I was thinking Purim is the Jewish Halloween. It definitely is but the we Jewish Halloween. We never would say that, of course. No, 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 definitely. Yeah. Never, not you or me. So when does the class start? Is it, uh, it's coming up soon, isn't it? This Sunday? Sunday the 1st. So yeah, Sunday, Sunday, March 1st. And how many sessions will there be? Just one. One session of 15 hours that session will be, I assume. Well, it will feel like that It'll because feel after like all, it. when a rabbi is doing it, you know That's correct. it's going to feel like it takes forever. Yes, we'd like to take but our this, time. But this is great. I mean, the book starts off with the king doing a party for all of the government, from all over his kingdom, for 180 days. Now, that's six months of partying. And then, after six months, they get down to the really serious drinking. And the statement is made that all of the wait staff, whatever anybody there asked for, they have to carry out. Now, I can't even imagine what that really means, how frightening this sounds. Um, I guess it depends on how you're built. So I, I don't know about you, but this is a class that I think you should go to. It would be this Sunday at what time? I believe it's 10.15. 10.15 or 10.30 will start. It'll last about an hour and a half or so. About an hour and a half. And we'll talk about what Esther's real name was, because it wasn't Esther. We'll talk about um, why Mordechai hides the fact that he's Jewish. The fact that Esther, although we, we see her as the heroine, right, um, really didn't want to go to the king to save the Jews. And, um, oh, there's one other thing. We've all been told that the king decided to kill Haman because Haman was going to kill the Jews. But that's not it at all. Uh-uh. There's something else going on. And if you want to find out, you'll have to come to the class. We hope to see you this Sunday for an amazing class taught by Rabbi Schwab. And what a perfect thing to do prior to Purim that's around the corner. Hopefully we'll see you at the adult Megillah reading and Purim spiel coming up. With Shlovovitz and Iraq. Can't get better than that.